Is it feasible, sir? Yeah, it is. Sir, this one I am getting error. Okay, so the error that you're getting is whenever you are trying to push some code to GitHub, you oh. generally like use username and password to put it there, but it is saying that the support for password authentication was removed on 13th August, 2021. Please use a personal access token instead, okay? So this is the problem that is happening because we are not using the right URL. But what I'll do is like, I'll just walk you through why it is happening and SSL, like SSL, like token, how it works and everything like that. Okay. So please stop sharing your screen. I'll share mine and you can just take a look at it here. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, perfect. So generally what happens is like, say for example, you're working on some repo here, this is your GitHub yeah. and if you want to just take a look at it, you will try to understand few things here. Like GitHub is asking you to do some SSH token, okay? How it works is the first thing you need to do is to create the SSH token. So here I'm just going to show you how to create that token. And a lot of people have already done it when, the, when you do Git and Bass, basic stuff. So here, like just to do that in Mac, I'm doing it like this, but even in Ubuntu, you can do very similar and please look out for how you can do it in Windows. So all you have to do is to do something like SSH keys in. And when you press enter, it will generate a pair of, pair of like a private and public key here. It is saying in, enter the file in which you want to save it. So where do you want to save it? It depends on you. So here, like, so for example, if you want to say, uh, just save it at the same place, then you can do it there also. So it will just, you press enter and it is saying like my file already exists here. Okay. So it doesn't matter, but like, I, I don't want them to overwrite. So I'm not going to overwrite or anything. Now, the point is how do you take care of it? So generally when you go into that folder, it is something like this SSH. And then here, if you just press enter, like say LS, it will list you all the uh, like public key you have there. Okay. So here, if you look at this, you will see that it has a file called ID underscore RSA.pub. This is the important part. Like what you need to do now is just to get this token. So all you have to do is to open this file by saying something like cat ID pub. So you can just say, ID underscore RSPUB, and it will give you some kind of token like this, okay? So what you need to do is to just copy this token from here and paste it in your GitHub. And in that way, what happens is they do hand shaking or something like they just know that, okay, this is the user who is pushing to this, and I know this user, something like that. So here, you just need to go on to setting, and in setting, you just have to go for SSH, and you just have to click on add new SSH and whatever name you want to give it. Like, so for example, I can give it something like a uh, main laptop. You can also add multiple SSH. So I'm just saying, okay, this is, uh, this is the SSH of my main laptop. I can just use another laptop and I can put the SSH here. So as soon as you put the SSH, they will ask you for password, you confirm it. And now the SSH key is added. So a lot of people have already done this. Even you have done it, right? As you have already said it to me that you've already done this, but there is still problem. The problem is still there. And now I'm going to tell you how to fix that specific problem. Even after you're doing SSH, it is not working. The reason it is not working is because when you go on to this repo and generally when you clone, like when you clone onto your machine, the way you do that is can you see here three things? Like the first one is HTTPS, second is SSH, and third is GitHub CLI, okay? Now, like whenever you're using SSH, you have to select SSH, not the first one, understood? So when you clone, generally try to clone it using SSH. Can you hear me, Chaitanya? Yes, sir. Okay, so use this SSH link and then it will fix the problem, okay? 
Now, the point is like, what if you have not selected that earlier itself? So here, how can you see that? So you can just say, git remote show origin. So what it does, it will show the origin or the link that is coming from. So can you look at the ring, link here? If yeah. you do this, you will also get link starting with HTTPS, okay? Now we have to change this, okay? So we will have to change it, like how we are going to change it. So for that, I'm just, uh, I'll just make it a bit bigger so you can just see it properly. Here you can just see git remote. So I'm going to remove the origin first. So removing means I'm removing the HTTPS one and I'm going to add. So I'm just going to say git remote add origin. And here, now the URL that I'll use is the URL from SSH. Can you see that? Yes. So I'll just copy it and paste it here. And now if I say git remote so origin, you will see that the list that we will get, it will have links starting with GitHub. So it will be git at GitHub. It is the SSH link. But when you're using HTTPS link, that password authentication will not work. So we have changed it. Now, when you will push it, it will work properly. So when you just, you just need to do git add dot, git commit and git push and it will work properly. Okay. okay. You understood what to do? Now I'll stop sharing and you say your screen and you go through this process. Okay. Do this process again and see, let's, uh, are we able to fix the problem or not? So I'll stop sharing. So please go ahead, share your screen. Okay, sure. Yeah, so yeah, go ahead and, and just like say here, like all you need to do is to just go ahead and look for that uh, URL. So just say git remote, uh, git remote so origin. Oh, okay, sure. You don't have to copy the URL, just let's look at it like, is it HTTP or is it SSH link? So we can understand the problem properly. So just say git remote so origin. Uh, yeah, remote, so S-H-O-W space, so origin, show S-H-O-W, so not S-S-H, S-H-O-W, origin, press enter. Uh, enter. Yeah, look at the URL. Can you see the URL is what? Is it HTTPS or SSH? HTTPS. Yeah, okay, perfect. So now... Go ahead and copy the link of SSH from your desktop. Yeah, go to that. Yeah, click on the link. Copy this, but this time don't copy the HTTP one, copy the SSH one, copy it. And now let's go ahead uh, and repeat. It was not copied. Why because it cannot be pasted here. You just to type. You have to type, no, no, so you have to say command shift V, control shift V, it will be pasted, don't worry. Just go ahead. Okay. So you just uh, scroll down, say git, yeah, git remote, git remote, remote add, add origin, origin, space, space, control shift V. Control shift V. Or right click paste, right click paste, do right click. Uh, yeah, it, got it. Okay, press enter. So you replaced it now. Okay, so like here, like can you look at the error message? What it is saying? Remove origin already exists. Exist. Remote origin already exists. So we will have to remove it. We haven't removed it yet. So we'll write the command called git remote remove origin. Git remote remove origin. Origin. Yeah. Enter. Yeah, press enter. Now just use the arrow key up two times and we'll run the command that we run a couple of minutes back. That is git remote add origin. Arrow key up. Arrow key. This. No, no, just arrow up, up arrow. Like arrow. up. Yeah. Yeah, one more. Yeah, press enter. So you added the new remote now. Not do the stuff that how you were doing it, like how where you were pushing it. Can you do it? 
it uh, so generally like how you push it yeah just go ahead and try it like let's see if it is working or not yeah git add dot and git commit and everything yeah perfect Oh, yeah, just say git push origin block. Mm -hmm. Git push origin block. Tab, 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 press tab. Yeah, yeah tile will be autocomplete and just put the name W. Yeah. So it just, like here it will ask you, so what is happening your first time interacting with them? So all you have to do, are you sure you want to continue connecting with this? You just have to say yes, press enter. Press enter. Yes, yes. You have to say yes. Just do it again. Say yes, Y-E-S. Press enter. Now it is added. So it is saying permission denied. Public key could not read from remote repository. Please make you show your. Okay, so character. which repo is it? Like, which repo have you copied? Can you just like go on top? It's like Chatan. Have you added your RSH, uh, like SSH key there? Here, sir. Mm -hmm. The SSH no. key has been added in GitHub, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Go to setting. Not this one, the, the main setting. Yeah, main setting. Go to ops, like go to GitHub, GitHub, just github.com. Yeah, the one, like the same page that you were on. Yeah, click on it. Yeah, click on that setting. And SSH. GPG case. It is yeah. already added. Don't worry. You, you can just delete it or something. Delete it. Uh, no, sir. Ah, last day I have deleted because I have tried again, sir. That's why I have deleted previous one. No problem. Yes. Delete it again. Don't worry. It's not like uh, it will take a lot of time or something. Just delete it. No. Okay. Yeah, delete it. Yeah. And now uh, go back to your terminal. And now here say SSH hyphen keygen. And SSH hyphen keygen. SSH hyphen keygen hyphen. Keygen. K E Y G E N. -G -E -N. Press enter. Generating. So it is saying, yeah, press enter. Press enter. enter. You know, press enter. Press oh. enter. Yeah, okay. so now the key gen is generated. Okay, so do one thing. So so go on to this one, like uh, that repo. So say, say CD. CD. CD, press enter. Enter. Yeah. Say so okay. cd dot ssh cd space, space dot ssh yeah okay sir. say ls ls so you can see you have id rsa id rsa pop so just don't do it right now what you need to do is uh so i'll tell you why i'm asking you to do it again right now is because maybe i'll put this video on youtube so obviously like people will see that but don't worry i'll tell you how to delete that okay so just say cat 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 space yeah. id underscore underscore tab tab press tab dot dot press tab again press enter Copy this whole thing here. Copy it. Ah. 
right click copy it yeah it's not it, it didn't copy so right click copy select it again and do wait a minute yeah, yeah okay so it's copied so go back to your uh, github okay. and just say add new ssh just name it anything mm. yeah yeah, anything like home desktop or whatever yeah just paste it here paste the thing that you copied yeah okay. add ssh key now okay sir. okay perfect we have added it now earlier i don't know what you added earlier so it uh, so go back to your terminal now Go to that folder where we were pushing the code. That is JavaScript, hello world. Can you go back? Oh. Say control C. Yeah, control C. Yeah, uh, clear it out, clear everything. Say clear, press enter. Yeah, now go to that folder JavaScript. Just say yeah. CD, CD, just say CD first, CD enter. Go to that folder JavaScript. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, just say press LS, say LS. Okay, yeah. so now you have to push the code, right? So say git status. Hmm. And just say git push origin, the block git name. Push. Yeah, git push origin. Block, yeah, tab, you can press tab and it will take it, take the name W. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, press enter. Warning, permanently added RSA. Yeah, so can you see what happened now? From now onward, it will never ask you for password. Earlier, the setup was not done properly. Okay. You got it? Okay. Now the setup is done properly. And so the steps are very simple, okay? Uh -huh. First of all, create the RSA key. So here I'll just, uh, you can stop sharing and I'll share the screen and I'll just walk you through the step. Okay, sir. So just try to remember the first thing you need to do is to create the SSH key. How do you do that? So you can just be like uh, something like this here. Can you see my screen, right? Yes, sir. So you just have to do SSH key gen. It will create the RSA pair. You have to copy it. So it will just take a couple of seconds. It will create the whole pair. And all you have to do is to copy that thing from there and where it exists, you just have to do go on SSS folder. Here you can see you have this file. All you have to do is to do cat id underscore rsa dot pub. So this is my file. I'm just going to copy it from here, put it into my GitHub that will come here. So you just have to go and click on add and add it here. After adding one thing that we have to make sure is when you clone from next time, you will not, not have to do any of it. Just from next time, just make sure to clone it using SSH. Don't use HTTPS. So you will not have to put password or anything. All good. Okay. So you got your things resolved, right? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. So just uh, give me a second. I'll just pause the recording.